This luxury Class B camper van behind me is the Strada Ion by Gretsch RV. Today, I am gonna give you a full walkthrough through this camper van and show you all the neat features it has to offer. This video is sponsored by Gretsch RV. The Strata Ion is built on the Mercedes-Benz Sprinter platform. This has the 170 inch wheelbase and it's the extended chassis, so it's 24 feet in length. Now with the AC and everything on top, it's nine feet, eight inches tall. One unique feature that Gretsch RV incorporates into their vans is the skirting around the van. Now I've seen other vans with the skirting, but the difference with this is they build this so strongly that it's actually considered a structural part of the van. I mean, this is, you move the entire front cap when you pull on that. So it's nice, it adds a touch of luxury to this van and makes it look very sleek going down the road. Gretsch also pays a lot of attention to what they do with the undercarriage of these vans. Now I'll let AJ at the factory go through and explain it to you because we had one of these on a lift so we could see all the different features. Everything that we do underneath is all stainless steel. All of these custom made brackets are made in house. You'll see here for our power entry step for an example, all stainless steel brackets here. All of our units have this fiberglass body kit and this is a core matte fiberglass. This is not a cheap flimsy ABS plastic that's simply glued on or screwed on. You can see the skirt brackets here that okay. hold this sturdy are also stainless steel all around. And look at how much stainless steel we have applied here to the entry steps there as well. Now all of your tanks, you have your fresh water tank here, your gray water tank here, your black tank of course is on the interior underneath that bathroom, but everything we do here is stainless steel as well. These look like they're heated. They are, they're all 12 volt heated. Yep. Then we have all of our hoses insulated there, the fresh water hosing as well. Now the Strata and the Torino models all have a power retractable hose reel and macerator system. You'll see all of that stainless steel brackets there. And this is our Timberline system. The Timberline system is our diesel fuel fired heat and hot water system that is fed off the chassis diesel fuel. Very small, compact, quiet and efficient system. Now all of our Strata and Torino models are standard with air suspension that you see here. And this unit that we're looking under is a propane generator model. And again, even the propane generator models do have the 200 amp hours of lithium batteries. So the attention to detail on the undercarriage is just as great as on the interior. Now this van doesn't have leveling jacks, but it does have VB air suspension, which allows the rear of the van to go up or down to level as you need it using this little remote from inside the van. Another thing I noticed about these vans is that they don't put a lot of logos or graphics on the sides of them. You can see in the front, Gretsch is kind of ghosted into the side. And then there's the model back here, but otherwise it looks like a passenger van. So a lot of people who live in HOAs might be able to park this at their homes and not be bothered because it doesn't look like an RV. Now something that Gretsch does for the exterior is all of the power inputs and water in that are all stored behind this panel. It's lockable. If I lift it up, there's a little holding mechanism there. So here's the fresh water fill, city water connection, outdoor shower. Here are all the controls to dump your tanks and then a 30 amp plug. Another nice thing about this compartment is one, it just looks clean but they've also incorporated LED lights, so if you're trying to hook up or unhook from a campground at night, it's all lit for you. Down below, this is where the sewer hose is on that retractable reel. So you just pull that out when you're done with it, hit the button, pull it back in. At the back of the camper van, there is a rear view camera, backup sensors, and behind this panel is where the tow hitch is. Now the Mercedes-Benz Sprinter is rated to tow up to 5,000 pounds. Now on the passenger side of the van, in that little cubby are two 120 outlets that run off of the inverter and the battery system. Above me is an awning that goes almost the entire length of the van and it has LED lighting 
And one feature I really like is the automatic door. With the door, there is a retractable step that comes out when you open the door. It closes when the door closes. All right, let me show you the awning. Now there is a control panel up here that controls everything in the van itself. I can also do this on my phone, but I'll show you more of that later. Let's put the awning out. Now this is a big awning. There are LED lights on this side for the awning itself. And then LED lights, kind of like porch lights for the van on the outside. But I say we go inside and see what this thing really has to offer. Okay, we're inside. Uh, first order of business. Let's close the door. I love that. Okay. Now to give you an idea of interior height, I am 5'11 and I have plenty of headroom. Now this is the Strata Ion, the lounge model. Lounge being with these two captain's chairs here up front, which are awesome, especially if you're traveling with a lot of people. This particular van seats nine people with seat belts and you can put two child seats in these seats here up front. There's also a table that goes here. I'll set that up in a minute, but I wanted to talk more about the power system on this. Since this is the Strata Ion, it has their lithium battery package. This does not have a generator. Instead, it has 1260 amps of lithium battery. They told us that with that, you could run the AC for a minimum of 12 hours. That is a lot of battery power, especially for a camper van like this. If you plan to go off grid or just boondock in it, that is gonna be awesome. There's also 300 watts of solar on the roof, a 3000 watt pure sign inverter, and this does have a 280 amp secondary alternator on the engine so that when you're driving or running the engine, you're always charging that battery back up. So here's the table in the lounge. Great if you wanna work, have people over, drinks, card games, whatever. Now, one thing I like about this area is it's nice to have a living room, then you have a kitchen and a bedroom in the back so you feel like you have separate areas. Another thing they've done is they have a TV here, and while you can't see it in these two seats, you can sit in those two seats, recline back, and if you have kids and you're driving or you just wanna not bother your partner, there are wireless headphones and USB jacks up here to charge everything. Now above the lounge area, you have these cabinets, but I wanna point out the blue LED lights that you'll see throughout the camper. I really like these as accent lighting, so if you don't want a lot of light, you can just turn those on. This is a storage cabinet. Heavy duty hinges, and they put this fabric down throughout the cabinet so that you kind of minimize rattling as you're driving down the road. In here, this is a satellite in. So the van is pre-wired for satellite and there is a spot for it on the roof. However, if you don't want to install a satellite dish, you can put an additional uh, 100 watts of solar. DVD player. This is your over the air antenna in. The Timberline heater, this is your water heater and furnace inside. This is your solar controller for the 300 watts of solar on the roof. Here's that control panel I was talking to you about. Now there's a second one in that back lounge bedroom area, but you can also control this via your phone. Download an app, connect to this via Bluetooth, and all these same controls will be on your phone. The nice thing about this is you have a home page where you just see some general things. This shows your uh, tank capacities. You can turn your water pump on. It, this has tank heaters, uh, your house battery, master light. Turn everything off or just turn everything on. That's nice when you come into the camper and you want some light. Awning controls. If we go through, here's all your lighting controls. Anything with an arrow is dimmable. Here's all your power management. Uh, one thing I didn't mention earlier is that this does come with a built-in surge guard, which is really nice. Climate control, shades. I love this because all the shades are uh, automatic. So put them down. Okay, all the shades are down. This does come with front shades and those you have to manually put up. 
and then just your setting screen. So everything you need is right here when you come into the camper. And again, if you're back in the bedroom area, you can also control it from back there or on your phone. As I move into the kitchen area, notice there is a lot of lighting in here. LED lights, you have these blue accent lights, you have LED lights under the cabinets. So there is plenty of light for when you're cooking. This is the kitchen. You have a nice deep sink here. I really like this faucet. You don't see that very often in camper vans. Two burner induction stove. This can run off the battery system. There are, this is a cubby here, two drawers, a drawer down below, and then you have a microwave convection uh, air fryer right here, along with a small refrigerator. Now the fridge in this model is on the smaller side, but in the tour model, they have a larger fridge that is actually mounted on the driver's side of the camper. Now there is actually a lot of storage in here. All of these cabinets up around here are all storage bays. You have the drawers that I mentioned, and over here is the bathroom. Here's the wet bath. It's big enough for me to stand up in, plenty of room to move around. There is a macerator toilet in here. This goes down into a 13 gallon black tank. And while we're talking about tank capacities, it holds 26 gallons of fresh water and 27 gallons of gray water. And then this is your shower head. Pull that out. You can stick it up there to shower or pull it out and use it. And I should be clear that when you are showering, there is a drain in the floor. So that goes into your gray water tank and ensures you're not getting water into the rest of your camper. There's also a mirror in here and then a shower curtain to pull across the door. There's also a vent above me with motion sensing lights. So when you come into the bathroom, the lights automatically turn on. All right, moving into the back bedroom slash lounge area. Now this lounge area is the same for both the lounge and the tour model. There are five seats back here for people and five seat belts. So you can seat five while you're going down the road. This ottoman and that couch combine to create a bed. There is a TV in here with a sound bar. As I mentioned, there's another control panel. And then above me is the Dometic AC system that again can run off of the battery system in here. So I say we put the table away and let's convert this into a bed. So the tabletop stores right in here. There we go. Now the support for the table gets stowed in this back cabinet. Now this cabinet is huge. There are two clips back here. Snap those in, that's not going rolling around. And these are the front shades. Now you see how long this is. I can almost stick that all the way in that cabinet. And this goes from both sides of the camper. So there is a lot of room back here. There's also LED lighting inside the cabinet so you can see what you're grabbing. Now, another thing about this cabinet is that there's a panel back there for a 4G LTE cell booster. They've already pre-wired it and the antenna is on the roof. You just need kind of the modem or router for that system. Okay, let's put the screens back up. So master up in this lounge area windows on both sides there's a big one in the back now these back windows do open they have kind of that awning style opening so you can get a nice breeze into the van there's also a max air vent up front and you can run that to really help cool the van on nice days there are cup holders on both sides along with outlets 120 outlets and i will say this couch is extremely comfortable and the leather is super soft. So there's a lot of room back here and I wouldn't mind riding back here during a road trip. If you are on a road trip, there are two speakers back here. There's also another TV, as I mentioned, with a sound bar. And I will say this is a pretty cool place to hang out. Now there are a few ways to set up this bed. The first thing you would normally do if you're gonna sleep on it is tuck away the buckles so you're not sleeping on those. Now the sofa, I'll recline that. What's nice about this is you can actually turn this into more of a lounge so you have a reclined back. 
Okay, so that goes all the way down. And now you could use this as, let's say, two twin beds. So you leave the ottomans where they are, or we can retract the ottomans to make, I think, almost a king size bed. So let me get out of the way and do that. So these cushions come out and placed in this. So now you have your big sleeping area. If you want these out of the way, you can move them. And then a very large bed. Love it. Now there is a screen for this door. Let's go around back. So this is the rear screen. There's also a nightshade that you saw come down earlier. But back here, there's more storage for luggage and things. One thing I didn't show with the bed are these cubbies on both sides. Now these are nice because when you're in bed, you can put your cell phone, Kindle, whatever in here, and there are USB plugs so you can charge your devices at night. Behind this, in here is the electrical compartment or one of them. There's one of the master kill switches back here along with the battery system. What I like about this is how well they've put in all this wiring and how clean the installation is. This is your 3000 watt Xantrex inverter. As I mentioned, there are 300 watts of solar on the roof. And if you choose not to install a satellite dish, you can install another 100 watts of solar. All right, now the part you've all been waiting for. How much does this luxury Class B camper van cost? Now the Strata with the propane generator starts just under $218,000. The Strata Ion with the lithium battery system that I showed you starts under $236,000. Now I'm sorry about all of this wind, but I think Gretsch RV has done a great job with the Strata. It's a really good option for those of you who want a luxury Class B van with a fixed bathroom and the ability to bring more people along with you. Again, this one will seat up to nine people. The tour version will seat seven, and you could bring the whole family along with you. Now, Gretsch RV does make a line of other Class B motorhomes. You can go over to their website to check it out, but that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If I don't get blown away, we'll see you next time. If you want to see more cool content from us, head on over to wertherussos.com and we'll see you next time. Bye guys.